pretty obvious after five years of racing, I need to figure out a new plan with uh, the brackets that I built for the alternator and the power steering pump. Uh, the alternator has this crack. I'm surprised it's, I mean, it's even worse than I thought it was. I knew I had the one piece that broke off and we kind of patched it back together with a all thread to get through the season, but obviously I need something that's going to be stronger and less likely to crack. Same thing with the power steering pump. I've had to weld it up at the top ear here. It's also super worn out from how many times I've uh, tightened and adjusted it and moved that around over the years. It's been bent a couple of times, I've straightened it out, I've had to add a gusket to it because it was cracked in another place also. So this need to uh, change up the brackets, even if I just built new versions of these that are just fresh and not so stressed and um, messed up just from all the racing and vibration and forces that were put through them, I'm going to be in a lot better position because right now I've just been chasing, trying to keep them functional this year. So if going into next year, I wanna make sure that I have a better solution for this. I mean, not that these were bad. I did get several years of racing out of these, but they've just, they've outlived their effective life at this point, and I really need to start fresh with new material. Here's the old power steering bracket versus the new one. You can see the old one, I would had a few cracks come through, I had to weld it up here. It's been bent and worn out from adjustment and had to add a gusset because it cracked over here as well. Uh, you know, there's another one there that got welded up. It's just, it, it's outlived its useful lifespan. So to upgrade, rather than redoing to the kind of the same old thing, although I did get five years of use out of that one, Decided to go a bit thicker. Uh, I made it in the CNC at work. I was able to tighten up the tolerances on the holes so the holes are smaller, more accurate, so are the slots. And then because it's thicker, I was able to countersink in the extra thickness for the standoffs and the, these will actually press in and be positively located. That should help add some rigidity and strength versus them just being stacked on top of the flat like before. Pretty happy with how this came out. The whole locations are even uh, pretty accurate there, so I got a nice measurement. And then one thing I always wanted to do was you know, radius and round the edges just to make it look nicer. So this should be a really nice upgrade and hopefully I'll get uh, five plus years out of that one without any maintenance. I'm gonna use the press to push these standoffs in. However, I don't want to mar up my nice shiny surface, although it'll be covered up by the pump anyway, but hey, let's try to make the stuff stay looking nice. So I'll put this piece of cardboard down. That'll help protect the surface. It should have around 3,000 press fit on these. It should be able to go in without much issue, but I will add just a little bit of oil to help keep from marring the aluminum up. I'm almost disappointed I don't have any little bit fancier hardware to put on this bracket because it's so nice, but all I've got is regular grade eight bolts, so that's what we're gonna be putting back on here. Cause quite frankly, it's just not worth worrying about trying to get some black zinc or stainless or anything like that. Cause it'll probably be dirty as soon as they hit the first track day anyway.
hopefully go and start bolting the, the pump back on and ooh, check that out. That's ready to fail. To rebuild the alternator bracket, I'm not going to just make a billet like I did for the power steering. It'll be much easier and quicker if I just cut the broken standoff off of here. And you can see the reinforcement gusset here that I had previously added after I originally had a problem with this is bent and twisted. So while it did improve the lifespan, it wasn't thick enough to really help in the long term so I'll be cutting both of those off to the way I can just get my base bracket back. I have a new standoff I made that's got the full length my you know because there's this chunk here that came off. Um, so now to alleviate this problem was I had added this on as a threaded piece to try and not have a bolt all the way through. Well eventually that's stripped out. Now this piece has significantly more thread in it and it's threaded on both sides. Um, so we'll have a bolt back here to help add a little more strength to the assembly also. And then I have some other materials here. I got some angle iron. I have some thicker flat plate I can work with. Some of that stuff there as far as making it better. I'm thinking I'll use this thicker flat plate to make a new gusset. And I might even extend it over a bit farther. Uh, that should add some strength there because that's significantly thicker. And another thing I might do is I might take one of these shorter spacers because I had you know some stack spacers here on the other side of the front bracket. Um, I made a longer one so I can make a single piece out of that. I'll have these two shorter ones that I can uh, possibly add to this other bolt hole and make another standoff where I could have drop a piece of aluminum in here and just kind of bridge this gap and make a make it stronger yet in this corner. And here's what the new bracket will be. We're gonna have a thicker gusset along the bottom. Actually be able to position this where I can get a nice 
big weld along there. Um, this is, as long as I space it up just right, big enough to get a socket on here, so we won't have any problem with installing any of the bolts. And then I'll have the secondary little gusset up top, just to add more strength to here, because where it was cracking was at the back. The cylinder head is on these two, so this part's kind of hanging off and space a little bit and once that alternator there's quite a bit of torque out on the front from the pulley especially with lots of rpm change so i'll clean this up get it welded and we'll have a new bracket and that's the bracket welded if you're thinking it looks a bit excessive on the amount of welding, I agree, but I'm kind of done uh, messing around with uh, having to repair this thing once a year or once every two years kind of a thing. So hopefully this will last uh, as long as I ever need it to. And if it doesn't, then it'll be time to get fancy and make it out of bill like I did with the power steering pump. But this one hasn't had nearly as many problems, and because of how much extra reinforcement's going to be on there, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm more than doubling, if not tripling, the strength that's available there. So now I gotta wait for this to cool down, and we'll get it installed on the car. Another two things crossed off the list, and now on to another project.